morning everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, thank you for joining me. This is going to be a wardrobe tour, I'm not going to be talking about shoes or bags, I'm just going to stick to clothing and I'm going to be talking about clothes through all the seasons, not just spring, summer. If you are interested in the rail itself, this is just a white open rail from Amazon, it was about £30 and then the hangers are from B&M, so they are just pink velvet hangers with a rose gold hook and they are very attractive but also very reasonably priced. So first of all we have this cashmere wool blend coat from Ted Baker. As with many Ted Baker coats it has an absolutely stunning lining in there. I had my eye on this for a really long time and I managed to nab it when it went into the sale. This was a really good purchase earlier this year. I've been wearing it a lot. I wasn't quite sure how a leather or leather style jacket, this is faux leather, would really work with my wardrobe because I am quite girly. It's got this lovely peplum hem that flares really nicely over the bum and the hips. It gives me a really nice shape and you can pull it in as much as you like with these little pulley bits here. I've really liked this just to throw on over a floral dress. I think it adds a really nice amount of edge. Here's another Ted Baker coat. So this is more of a duster style coat. It is supposed to be rainproof. I wouldn't know because as you can see, I haven't actually worn it yet. So I will report back on that one but it is very, very nice. It's unlined, unfortunately. So next is a classic, the little black dress. This is one that I wore for a friend's Hendy last year. This was really, really comfortable. So as you can see, it's bodycon. The brand is Vespa at ASOS, and they do this style of dress in several colors, several lengths. I really like this length because it's more of a midi length. So obviously being bodycon, it does ride up but it doesn't ride up your thighs because it's a little bit longer. It kind of comes to my mid calf. You'll notice that we're going through quite a lot of wintry pieces at the moment. That's because I organize my wardrobe seasonally. This jumper is one of my favorites to wear in winter. It is mohair wool, so you do need to wear something underneath it. This jumper I got from H&M, I think the Black Friday before last, so it is quite old now. I will see if there's something similar that I can link for you. There are quite a few old pieces in my wardrobe because when I go shopping, that's kind of the criteria in my mind is that I want to buy things that aren't going to go out of style and that I can wear year after year. This is something that I was really excited to buy earlier this year but I've not actually been able to wear it yet because I bought it right at the end of spring. This is a 100% cashmere jumper, this is from John Lewis, so I've not worn it yet, I can tell you the retail price. So originally this was £105, I got it for about 50 I think this will be really really nice in winter with this skirt. I don't know if that's a true representation, but I've got this little mini tweed skirt from H&M. I would wear that all the time in winter with a pair of ankle boots and opaque tights. I think that would look lovely and it would be so warm and cosy as well. Okay, so I might as well show you the skirt. So as I said, this is from H&M. I've not had a chance to wear this yet because even though it is a mini skirt, I could technically wear it in summer. It is quite a wintry style. It's this kind of tweed effect. I love H&M. I think they're probably my favorite high street retailer at the moment. I think they just do such nice clothes at such a reasonable price and they just feel like really good quality. Like this skirt, it feels a lot more expensive than it is. It's got these lovely gold button details, which are just so much more expensive looking than you would normally see on the high street. This is an oldie but a goodie. I can wear this every single season, even summer if it's a mild day. It goes really, really well with everything else in my wardrobe. It's got a bit of movement to it, which I really like in my clothes. If you tuck it in, it's not really stiff. It's still quite breathable and loose. And it's a gorgeous neutral oatmeal colour, so it goes with absolutely everything I own. So we are moving on to the floral dresses now. And first is this really lovely one. I'm not quite sure how that's coming across on camera. It looks black from here, but it's actually a navy blue and it's got these really lovely pink, yellow and purple flowers. I'm not actually a very big fan of patterns, but I do love florals. And if you are petite like me, I'm five foot and half an inch tall. That half an inch is very, very important. This is a really good buy if you're petite because I've never had to have this altered. It just comes to just the right length around my ankles. And then the sleeves are a little bit long, but because they have a button, it's not a problem. They don't kind of fall off your hand. This is the sort of dress that I would wear in spring, autumn and winter and have even been known to wear it in summer if it's quite a mild day. This is a really beautiful dress that I got from ASOS. The brand is actually River Island. This is really, really beautiful, but I am thinking of decluttering this one. I've never been very keen on the way that it hangs on my hips. I think it's slightly too small for me around that area. And it's also very, very ruffly for me. I mean, I am quite a girly style. I quite like my clothes to be romantic, but this is possibly a little bit too romantic to me. It's got these tears at the end that are very 
frilly. Then it's got this almost kind of clownish frill around the top. It's a beautiful bardo neckline. It is a beautiful dress. I think it's just a little bit too statement for me. I think I've worn it too many times now and it's just kind of lost its glitter. I also have a floral jumpsuit. I have two other floral, I have three other floral dresses actually. So really I've got too many florals in my wardrobe right now. So I'm thinking that maybe this one can go. Okay, so I've got two pieces to show you now. So the first is another floral dress. This is much more summery. It's got a cut out detail at the back and it's got these lovely frilly sleeves. It's very versatile, goes with everything else in my wardrobe. In particular, I like to wear it with my Topshop cardigan. So this is their honeycomb cardigan. I think it's got some dog hairs on it, so sorry about that. Um, I really like these wooden effect buttons. It's a really relaxed fit, so it's quite casual, but it's so nice to just throw on over a dress like this. So next is a pair of jeans, which are really more for practicality than style, but they are a nice pair of jeans. I got these from Miss Selfridge. I went for this paler blue, which doesn't really suit me, but I really liked how it looked with white tops. I think this paler blue with a white top is really, really nice. They are ripped as well, so, on trend at the moment. Don't have a great deal to say about these, but these are really handy just to throw on with a pair of wellies when I am going to walk the dog and I'm not quite sure what the weather's going to be like. So next is a Bardo jumpsuit. I love a Bardo neckline. I think it's so flattering. I think the shoulders are just an area of the body that are so underrated. I think this is so nice to have a bardo neckline and show your shoulders and your collarbone off and I think red is just a universally flattering colour. This has got a bit of a story behind it. So I first saw this in quiz. I was looking for it for a holiday and I tried it on and I thought it was absolutely beautiful but because I don't make spontaneous purchases I left it and I thought I'll wait, I'll see if I think about it. I did keep thinking about it but unfortunately it was out of stock. And then about a year later I had a look on Depop and I typed in red floral jumpsuit quiz size 12 and this one came up and it didn't really look like it had been worn. I already knew that it fitted because I tried it on in store and whenever someone says to me, oh that's a really nice jumpsuit, I'm like, let me tell you a story. These collots are probably the oldest pieces in my wardrobe now. I think I got these three or maybe even four years ago. I just find them so comfortable. It's like wearing pyjamas. I love them. They're really good for working from home. They're only from New Look and so we're probably about £20 and they have lasted a really long time. There's no seams coming apart. They've kind of got a bit sad looking as the years have gone on but they don't look old. Yeah, I think they still look perfectly acceptable and there's no kind of threads coming loose or anything like that. Okay, I've got a few midi skirts to show you now. So this first one is from H&M. This is a monochrome midi skirt, it's quite old now. It's looking a little bit worn. I think I got this probably the Black Friday before last. So it does need replacing. I've got this one as well. This is from Misguided. This is one that I've just held on to for a long time, even though it's not the best quality. Because it's unlined, it's really cool and comfortable in summer. It's slightly too pink for me. I'd like something that's more of a blush pink or a dusky pink. I recently got this from Ted Baker. Again, a midi skirt. I mean, they're more like maxi on me because I'm really short. It's just quite big. I size down, so I'm quite surprised by how big it is, but it's really too large on the waist, so it needs returning. But I'm wondering whether that's a fault because usually Ted Baker's clothes do come up quite small. I'm not convinced on the pattern anyway. I did buy it to replace that pink one that you saw. I thought this would be nice in summer, but I think it's just a little bit too grey for me. It's just not as fun as that pink one. I have seen one from Reese that's like an ombre pink, so I might go for that one instead. And next I've got this black top from Holland Cooper Clothing. They do kind of equestrian, sporty style clothes, very classic colours, very tailored. This is almost like a sporty material. I think it's just polyester, but it's got that kind of stretchy fabric that you get in gym clothes, so it's comfortable and it's got a lovely button detail that goes really nicely with that H&M skirt that I showed you earlier. And then finally I have some camis to show you. So this first one is a silk vest from Reese. Um, I got this in the sale, it was about 40 pounds. Really nice with that leather jacket that I showed you. It also goes really well with those pink collots. This cami is also from Reese. If you follow Fashion Mumbler here on YouTube, she featured this in quite a lot of her videos and I was besotted when I saw it on her channel. I really wanted it. Um, it's got a nice bow detail in the back and it's a very nice blush pink colour. It was too expensive really for a cami, I couldn't justify it. So I looked on eBay and I kept bidding and I kept losing out. And then I went into Reese to return a coat that I'd got and they had a sale rack there full of faulty items and this was on there for £20. 
and it had a stain on the back which as you can see is completely gone now so that was a really really good buy and last but not least i have this cami from river island i really like my clothes to have a bit of movement to them i got this a year or so ago but it's the sort of design that high street brands will always bring in each season they'll just bring an updated version of it this is lovely in the summer with one of my midi skirts or with those jeans that you saw earlier white goes really nice with that pale denim Thank you so much for watching this video, I really hope that you enjoyed it. I'm planning on uploading a YouTube video every Sunday at 9am, so do subscribe if you want to see more from me. If you liked this video in particular, please give it a like and that tells me that I should be making similar content on here. I also have an Instagram and a Twitter and a blog and I'll link all of those down below. I'll see you next week, bye!